a, a harassment technique seemingly inspired by science fiction is reportedly being used to torment Chinese people, specifically those who dare to stand up against government corruption. An unusual type of harassment has reportedly appeared in China, seemingly taken from the pages of a science fiction novel. Some claim the Chinese regime has developed a special kind of technology used to broadcast information directly into a person's mind. Known as electronic harassment, it's allegedly used to silence those who dare to speak out. Wang Hai Bang says he's been suffering from what he calls electronic harassment for 12 years. He explained that it all started after he filed a corruption report in 2008. It was against then police chief of the Wu Ning County Public Security Bureau inside Jiangxi province. Soon after, he described being illegally detained, beaten, intimidated, and framed. Not long after that, he was involved in a car accident, something he says was staged. It left him hospitalized. He explained that since then, a device has been used to send information directly to his mind. They observe my mind with the device and watch my movements. They also use the audio function to send voices to my mind, disturbing me round the clock. Following his trip to the hospital, he says he began to suffer from the unique harassment. Wang says he believes the local police are behind the electronic harassment. That's because, according to Wang, they talk to him through it using their dialect and accent. They don't talk about anything else. They only talk about what I'm doing, disturbing me no matter what I do. No matter what, they'll make noise and talk to me. Wang told us that sometimes he can hear five or six people talking simultaneously, even up to a dozen. He explained that to him, it seems that they take shifts talking, insulting and denouncing him, in an effort to spark his anger and make him talk back. According to him, the technology makes it so that only he can hear the noise. He describes it as a never-ending battle in his mind. The local officials are too corrupt. They seek to kill you with this torture. They thought I couldn't last two years. They never imagined I would make it this long. But Wang's long-term fatigue has taken a serious toll on his health. Now he suffers from symptoms like headaches, weakened eyesight, and shortness of breath. Despite the symptoms in Beijing in 2015, it's taken him four years to get confirmation about the technology from China's Ministry of Public Security. The reception staff of the Public Security Ministry said that they indeed have this kind of equipment. It's very expensive. It's available in all police departments at the county level and above. The equipment can monitor your thinking and send voices to your mind and talk to you in your head. That's what they said. Wang says the Chinese Communist Party, or CCP, currently uses the technology to control tens of thousands of people. He says he's also spoken with other victims, who describe suffering the same round-the-clock noise in their minds. Some of them reportedly couldn't bear it and are believed to have committed suicide. But more and more, victims have started to speak out. The CCP hasn't hidden its intention to weaponize mind control. Regime media mouthpiece Xinhua reprinted an article earlier last year speaking highly of the technology's military and wartime value. The article says the purpose of mind-control weapons is not the destruction of an enemy's flesh, but of his will. It also says the new technology doesn't require a chip implanted in the human brain. Instead, electromagnetic waves, light, sound waves, smells, among other things, can be used. Reporting by Xu Wanhui, NTD News.